In this video, I'm going to explain why I have changed the case of the letter at the beginning of what we would consider my middle name. And this comes on the heels of a video that I recently made in where I talk about stopping and correcting and being humble as a big part of being loyal to the correctness, i.e. There are many, many examples of people out there who do not perform the humbleness of a stop and correction. I am going to walk it like I talk it, and I'm going to correct a wrong that was inherent in my name with regards to the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, construct and the protocols. In order for me to correct something, as I stated in that video that I just mentioned, and I'll leave a link to it up here somewhere, in order for me to do that, to correct something, I first must have evidence and closure on why. I'm not going to do something just because someone says Hey, that's wrong, fix it. Okay, well, why is it wrong? I have to know why. I have to have deep closure. And I've gotten that. Thus, I'm correcting my name. And so my correct name, the correct spelling, looks like this. What this entails is the rule one and rule equal performance of the quantum grammar construct. And what that is, is the rule one means there's one rule, one pattern, a consistency, word closure, one word, one meaning, etc, etc. And so the way that happens here is that you have a fact here and you have a fact here. In other words, we have this fact, and then we have this fact. Those are two separate facts. They've been positioned correctly. The colon, as I've explained in other videos, represents a position lodial phrase. So this is for the Jason, and then a period, and then for the Matthew, and a period. These are facts. These are sevens, preceded by positional and lodial with the full colon. So when you bring these two together, these are two, these are sevens. So they're equal with one another. Rule one, rule equal. When you bring them together, now you have that, and then you use this as a transit connector, your hyphen. I exaggerated a little bit. And then you add the other fact, Matthew. Now it is a compound fact, a compound known. Rule one, rule equal, the protocols of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar dictate that what happens on this side of the hyphen must also happen on this side of the hyphen. This fact was written with a capital M. This fact was written with a capital J in order to maintain the integrity, the honor of the fact when you combine them. This maintains the integrity of itself as a fact as a seven and now this also maintains that integrity, putting them together, now they are all together, one compound fact preceded by a position lodial phrase. So it's been positioned, positioned correctly. And then if I want to put my last name after it, I put a full colon there and there's the last part of the name. 
glass. For the Jason Matthew of the glass. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Another thing about following these protocols, if you come in joinder as a tenant of the correct sentence structure, communication, privacy, syntax, grammar, you are aware that there are certain grammatical rules, rule one, rule equal performances set down that you would follow from the language. This is part of that. Everything is about closure. So I don't know if many of you remember, but I did a video giving closure on why my name was spelled the way it was when I had the lowercase m. And I gave closure on that. What I'm doing here is coming into compliance with the rule one, rule equal performances of the correct sentence structure. What I said in that other video was not in line with those protocols of quantum grammar as set forth by the creators of the quantum grammar. So here I am aligning myself with the correctness of the grammar, humbly stopping and correcting myself and giving public notice to my correct name performance, which also comes into play with my fate writ volition claim. I hope this uh, came out very clearly. If not, if you have any questions, as always, you can contact me in the confidential at my email address, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. Have a blessed day. Thank you.